They've all got babies in the nest, so they take a big full of meat and off they go. So they'll be back for another big full. Right, just you little ones left, hey? Are you gonna catch? I'll just throw it out there. There you go. Here we go. Now that the big ones are all gone. Oh, you're still here. Don't you have a baby? This is for the little ones. hungry today. You're gonna call for us are you? Yeah have this one this is what's better for big beaks. <laughs> You're a chicken. <laughs> All right he'll come back. The magpies have just arrived. G'day guys, welcome back. Lovely to have you here with me in the studio again today. I'm going to be playing with the 3D blooms and I've got my resin sitting here. I'm just going to do one little coaster just because I want to test the resin. Um, this is the Pro Marine tabletop. I've still got quite a lot of it so I want to use it up. Now I just want to test this. I want this to get to about 38 degrees Celsius. Oh my gosh. Okay. 40, 41. All right. <laughs> I think we're there. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm warming it enough this time because I did a bloom earlier on today and it didn't work. And um, it, like it was blobby. So I thought, oh. I just think I need to warm it up a little bit more. So I'm just doing a little one, just a little test piece. And I'm going to video it, obviously, so that um, we can have a little look and see what I'm doing, if it's right or wrong. Because I like to look back and have a look and see what I've done right or did wrong. So I sprayed my coaster with some alcohol just to help stop the bubbles. Now, what have I got in here? I'm only using a tiny little bit, you see, so I thought there's no point wasting a, a big cup. Um, what's that? It's about 10 mils. Okay. Probably, probably half an ounce. <laughs> I probably could have used the other cups for paper cups. I'll just wipe these out and use these again. So half an ounce, I think. Um, and the rest going in here. I made 37 grams of A and 35 grams of B. Now I'm just going to put some alcohol spray on my paper towel there and clean that little probe there. Okay, let me just write down there that it got up to, oh, what was it, about 41 degrees? Right, making these, making notes. Alright, let's give that a bit of a torch so I said to myself this time I was going to wait a bit longer I was going to wait 25 minutes so that means um, 6.20 it's now 6.10 so I need to wait 10 minutes so I'll mix up my colors I'll do everything else and then I'll get into piping um, at 6.20 and that'll be 25 minutes waiting this time so I'm going to put a little bit of this gold not gold, silver glass, just in the center there. Just got that from Amazon. It didn't come in the plastic container. I like to, when I get them, I put them in little plastic containers, different sizes. I just like to do that. Um, now, let me just poke these down. So yeah, that got to, like I didn't wait to see what it actually got to, but it was over 40, wasn't it? Over 40 degrees Celsius. I think. Alright, let me clean my stick. That's my mixing stick. I use them again tomorrow. Rightio. Now, colours. Did you guys see my peacock bowl? That one. Turned out really pretty. Hey, so going along those lines, um, so I'm not using my usual white pigment paste. I'm going with just 
coloured pigment pastes. We have got a silver, uh, molten silver by Lorez. I'm going to give that a stir and then pull that stick out. Actually, I might just wipe the bottom and then whatever's left on top is what we're using. I don't need a lot, it's not a lot of resin there. So that's that one. And then we've got this gorgeous creature. It's called Electric Blue by Lorez. Look at that. So same thing, I'm gonna give it a stir. Scrape the bottom. And then what's left on top is what I'm using. So you wouldn't use that much if you were using white pigment paste because it's very heavy stuff. You'd only use like two drops in that resin, but it's not white pigment paste. It's colored pigment paste and I don't think it's as heavy. So scrape the bottom, use what's on the top. So this one is called Sapphire Blue, also by Lorez. Um, I will put Lorez's website and coupon code down in my description if anybody is interested. Uh, Lorez do ship worldwide. I think if you're in the States, Laura's Art Corner sells Lorez. I think you can also get um, the Platinum 360 Plus from them too now widely available alrighty so I'm just going to stir these up it's a lovely dark blue that one and I just wipe these out with some paper towel once I'm done with them and then I use my little cups again so I want that to be nice and opaque so that's that one here's our silver Look at that. So I'm going to do what I did with the peacock bowl. I'm just going to do like little dashes. But I'm going to just use my stick. There's not really enough resin here to put into piping bags. Well, I guess there is, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do it with a stick. I wasn't even going to video this and I thought oh, every time I do something and it turns out really good I don't video it because I just think oh, I'm just going to try something and then I put a photo up on my Facebook group and go everyone goes oh I can't wait for the video and I'm thinking oh damn I didn't video it so now I'm just going to video everything and look if it doesn't work then I've just spoken to myself for the last 20 minutes or so but at least then if I if it does work then at least I've got a video to put up hey so that's the, there's my blues, there's my silvers, my silver. All right, so now I am just going to wait for another seven to eight minutes. <laughs> Let's see if I can get my gloves off. Always a challenge, always a challenge to get your gloves off so that you can push pause on the camera. Oh my gosh, because I like to use my gloves a few times, you know, I don't want to waste them. It's not good for the environment. It's not good for my wallet. So try and reuse them. Ah, oh gosh, struggle is real. There we go, it's gone. All right, I'll see you in um, seven minutes. Right, 25 minutes is just about up. I've just checked its temperature in here and it got to 39 and a half degrees. So I figured by the time I turn my camera back on and I start it'll be 40 degrees so I'm gonna go with that so when I decanted it was I guess about 40 ish degrees and then I decanted and it cooled down a bit so now it's got back up to 40 degrees so let's see how that goes hey see if that works so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just wipe that bottom of the stick and I'm just gonna draw some lines like this and the only reason I'm wiping the bottom of the stick is so that I don't drip everywhere probably should make them a little bit thicker I think if you don't make them thick enough they're not wide enough to spread to give you pretty blooms 
so make sure that they are wide enough like a good half a centimeter wide if your resin's nice and thick they shouldn't sink but hopefully they'll just spread so let's do that hey nice thick lines like so we don't need all this silver that I've made up but it's difficult to make up any smaller amounts a little bit through there okay let's put that aside and go for the dark blue so same thing just kind of randomly putting it in there between the silver and I'm going to try and get as close to the edge of the mold as I can because if it starts pulling inward I don't want my edges to be blank blankety blanks feels pretty thick the resin but hopefully it will do its thing if it's not thick, it just sinks. Again, make sure they're all thick enough so that they bloom nicely. All right, here we go with the electric blue. Same thing, just dipping my stick in, wiping the bottom off so it doesn't drip everywhere, and making little lines, little dashes. The dash pour. <laughs> no. And you can make some bigger and some smaller doesn't really matter just get them in there how's it looking at any of them spreading yet I was really frustrated because I've done this this is my third one today because it just was not working I was just waiting for 20 minutes and uh, it just wasn't working and I thought, oh, what am I doing wrong? I've done this before. Why won't it work? But uh, resins like that, you know, you can do something and then you do it again the next day and it just doesn't do it. All right, I'm going to leave it like that because this is getting really quite thick now. It's at 25 past. Well, it only took me four minutes to do that. I think that's enough anyway. So, give that a bit of a torch. Look at all those bubbles pop. Still got quite a lot of colour left. Pity I haven't got any more clear. Now, I wonder if it's going to do anything. I do want to just swirl the middle. I'm tempted to put more in, but I'm not going to. I'll just leave it like that. Pop some more bubbles. Makes a lot of bubbles when you're doing this. Let's fix that edge up a little bit. Okay, now let's give it a bit of a swirl, shall we? In the center, try and incorporate some of these colors around here and then just sort of bring them in a bit like so. There we go, I think that'll do. Not, nothing too much. All right, gosh. Well, it seems, and I'll touch wood. Got wood under here. Seems to be blooming. 
starting oh gosh stick your finger in it woman seems to be starting to bloom so let me get you down and uh, we'll have a little look and then I'll come back in a little while and see if it's changed I could have zoomed you in a bit more couldn't I <laughs> sorry All right, here we go. This one here doesn't seem to be doing much. I won't judge just yet. Now, it can keep moving for another 10 minutes or so. So um, I'll come back to you. And hopefully, hopefully, they'll close up a little bit more. Cross your fingers for me because it does take a little while all right see you soon oh my gosh you guys look look it's doing it Woohoo! oh my gosh third time lucky today i was not going to give up until i got this so it was not hot enough that's why i was getting the blobbies so I probably won't put up the other videos because they didn't work. But here they are over here. Come this way. This was one of them. Look. See down there? See how it's hit the bottom and gone flat? So those ones, when I started piping, and I hope you don't mind me giving you a little bit of education here. When I started piping at mm, 20 minutes, these ones dropped. Then by the end of the piping time, see that one there, that silver one? That was more like 25 minutes. That did not drop. See the difference? And then same over here, the ones, this one's not too bad, but there are some blobbies in there. There's blobby. There's a blobby, there's a blobby on the edge there. And then of course the ones that I did later have bloomed and spread beautifully. Blobbies. So you can see the difference. And then, well, that one, that one just didn't work. Very blobby. I thought, oh, maybe I've, maybe I need to cut down the time. This one is really cool. I like the pattern. I want to do this one again. Some of them worked really well, like that up there, and then down here, no, nah. blobby, blobby, blobby. So, yes, <sighs> 25 minutes to pipe. Now look, that it depends on the resin, it depends on the temperature, depends if you warm your resin, you don't warm your resin, your room's hot, your room's cold. But for me, you saw I decanted when it got to like 40 degrees. Then I waited until the resin in the little cups got to 40 degrees again because it cools down and then you've got to wait for it to come back up. So that was 25 minutes. Yay! All right, now we'll wait until, hopefully it's not blobby. We'll wait until tomorrow and then I'll unmold it. But hopefully there's no blobbies on the back. I can't see any, like it looks as if it's bloomed beautifully. And I'm keen to see what the swirl's going to look like. So, yay! Happy, 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 happy. Right, now I can go and get some dinner. See you tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. It's the next day. I know it's not morning for you, but, well, it might be. It's only been a few seconds for you, hasn't it? Now, let's have a little look. Oh, I'm super excited to get this out. Look how much it's closed over. So pretty. Let's get him out, hey? I haven't even had my coffee for this morning yet. I went and looked after the dogs and then came straight into the studio. Look at that. Now I'm just going to get my little piece of black card to put over the background. Over like that, just so that we can have a proper look at it. Oh, I'm nervous. It took me three times yesterday to do this, so let's hope it's right. All right, are we ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Shut the front door. 
Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. It's worked so well. Look at the shimmer on it. Oh, wow, that is incredible. Look at the darkest blue. It, it's obviously not a metallic. It almost looks as if it's a transparent paste. It may well be. Like it's, it's still really, really pretty, and it's a lovely contrast to all that blinginess. But, um, yeah, I, I guess if I do want to have all metallics, I'll need to do a little test piece or something. But, look, I don't mind that at all. I think it's a really nice contrast. Wow. I can't believe it worked. Right, let's take the little piece of black card away just so that you can see it without the background. Still really pretty. Just got that little bit of transparency there. Wow. So glad that I did it three times yesterday. And hopefully you guys have learned something from this video. I sure have. So happy it's worked. I don't know if I like backgrounds on them or, or not but um, I think it's good to sort of take it out unless you know specifically that you want to do a background take it out and then you can always do a background afterwards because there's this little tiny lip here um, and you could always do a very thin little flood coat of whatever color you want to on that side but um, yeah you might want to see what it looks like first whether or not you like that transparency. Um, I don't think I'll do like a silver edge. I think it's blingy enough. And the problem with doing the edge is sometimes like the edge petals there get covered with the silver or whatever edge color you're using. And it kind of blocks that pretty effect if you've got silver running over the top of it. So I'm not gonna do it with that one. I'm just going to leave it. <gasps> so happy with it. I'm going to go and have my coffee now because I haven't had my coffee yet. Too excited. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my little video. Hope you've learned something from my video. And uh, I will see you real soon for the next one. And I want to revisit my peacock colors again. And I'll know to wait 25 minutes for this resin. Make sure it's thickened up. What do you think? So pretty. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Take care of yourselves and I will see you real soon for the next video. Love you all. Bye for now.